Greetings, Raider Nation. This week we're taking on the TCU Horn Frogs. We're not gonna win this game. I I'm not gonna lie at all. Or even try to scrounge up a glimmer of hope for. I can no way see us winning this game given how poorly we have played this entire year. And TCU is just too good of a team to lose to a um, team like us. Now, we may have beat them last year when they were arguably the better team, but this year, they are much better than they were last year. They are up there contending for the conference title, which I hope they don't win. I really don't want to see the Toadies win a Big 12 conference in football before we do. That is just, I'm sorry, no. That would just piss me off too much. See them come in after a few years and then win the title. No. But they have such a good football team. I mean, their defense is better than ever this year. Not only that, their quarterback Boykin has finally came into his own. He is, again, up there with Cricket as arguably the best quarterback in the Big 12. And already his yardage has surpassed Cricket, so. He is going places, and I can only imagine how good he could be next year. I mean, but that's another video for another time. For a way Boykin took down the past two teams, Oklahoma State, and how they almost, almost beat Baylor. Our defense has no fucking chance against them. There's not a chance in hell. We are going to stop them. I mean, we might hold a field to a field goal one time, but I guarantee it. Every time they get the ball, they're going to score a touchdown. Because our one defense is still not that good. It's a tiny bit better, but still not that great. And our secondary, again, not all that great. And we were having problems against Kansas. Now imagine us taking that, taking a um, Texas Christian team, and we're not gonna have the benefit of the home crowd. Then we'll, they'll be playing in. The home field in Dallas Fort Worth with their crowd. I mean, if I, if we want to somehow more actually make this at least a game, I would even need to pull a rabbit out of the hat because I can only imagine the massacre is going to be if our team goes out there. And just performs how they've been performing this entire season on defense. And offense, the mistakes you've been making on offense are really can not make it fun to watch. I really see this being an ugly game on offense. I do not see our offense getting through that TCU defense. I mean, we may score a few points here and there, but I don't see it happening consistently. This is a TCU team that has only given up, really, around 33, no, I'm about, I don't think, about 20.7 points on average. And they have took on pretty good teams like Oklahoma State, 
Oklahoma and Baylor. And that game against Baylor is the only reason why it's that high. And Baylor's offense is, again, spectacularly amazing. Well, us, our offense is mediocre at best. And I really hope that Grant does play this game, as I don't want to see him get completely out of shape before the Texas game. For as I'm sure most of you already know who are watching this video, Sunday morning Grant got involved in the shooting of something and got cut with a knife. Luckily, it wasn't too serious, and they say he's gonna play this Saturday. But I'm waiting till game day to um, make sure that's a fact. Well, if we want to stand a chance at all, even if it's a middle school one, we're gonna need a big offensive receiver to be perfectly healthy. Yeah, Grant goes down. Like if Grant like a play this game, any hope for victory is automatically gone. We need him to play. And Webb <sighs> needs to stop making really stupid mistakes. Instead of forcing the ball and getting pressured, just throw it away. Don't try to make something happen. You're not that good, Webb. At least not yet. And just be careful where you place the ball. Because I'm tired of seeing Webb get intercepted for throwing stupid passes. For those were kind of annoying against Kansas. And TCU, much better team than Kansas, much better defense. If you play exactly how you against Kansas, they're going to have a field day picking us off. Now, hopefully, in this game, we can learn how to not give up points through interceptions. Because that was a problem. Kansas turned all their interceptions and turnovers into points. And we can't allow that. We can't allow that at all. And also, on the flip side, in the offense, when our defense gets the ball, intercepted it to us, or covered a fumble, or whatever, we need to take advantage of that. No three and outs, no field goals, score touchdowns. Because, well, field goal might look good. Field goal doesn't look as good as a touchdown does. But, really, I don't see our team standing at too much of a chance. And I hate it, because I hate the Toads. For... They are a fun rivalry, and they have kind of eat us out of a a bit, even though a and is still a much better rival. But... I think they're gonna win this one, and this will be the enforced game they win in this rivalry in the conference. So I'm predicting the final score is going to be around 52 to 17 TCU. I don't see it performing well at all. For they're just too good of a team, and we are gonna be lucky to finish six and six. Let's hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Still gonna show for the team. I'm just not going to the game of high expectations. Terry Arthur Woods, Raider Nation. Guns up, Raider Power, and Wreckham Tech.